Welcome to Nicholas LMX12. Today I'm doing a comparison requested by quite a lot of you guys. A bit of a crazy one, the Intel i3-6100 versus the mighty i7-6700K. Which one does perform better? Well, I guess we all know the answer to that. But what about the price-performance ratio? And what about gaming? Does an i7 make all that much of a difference when it comes to frame rates? Let's find out. So it goes without saying, the price difference is ridiculous. Right now, at the time of this video, the i3 costs about a quarter of the i7. But then again, currently there are issues with the 6700K's availability, so that needs to be taken into account as well, which leads to increased pricing. But how much of a performance difference is there to expect? Let's find out. A huge difference in games. Almost unbelievable, but Intel lately simply manages to squeeze out extra frame rates in games with their CPUs alone. But that of course is only really noticeable when pairing these CPUs up with real powerful graphics cards, such as the GTX 980 Ti as used in this test. And at productivity stuff, what else would you expect? The i3 is without any chance. The i7 simply blows it away. Very predictable though at that price point, and after all we're looking at a quad core with hyper threading, thus leading to 8 threads in total. Compared to the performance, there's not all that much of a difference in terms of power consumption. This makes the S7 specifically shine a lot here as well, that is if you care about efficiency. Well, surprise surprise, now we know the i7 outperforms the i3. I mean, who would have thought about that? Wow, what a surprise! And then we take a look at the price tag, makes us realize most of us can't afford that i7. Although I personally own the 6700K, honestly I saved up cash for months to be able to get it. But I mainly did it for testing purposes, also allowing me to use my i7-4770K system as a test bench for benchmarks only. So yeah, sure, that's a very unfair comparison, but let's admit, it's a fun and certainly a fairly interesting one nonetheless. Hopefully this video made you see the performance difference between these two processors. I bet you kinda expected the results shown in the charts. I did too. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe, and visit my website to see videos there earlier than on YouTube.